everybody so today we're gonna be making some pressed flower art or dried flower art it's been pretty overcast and rainy all day um, I've been cooped up inside for like two days now and my cats are feeling it too look how cute they are but anyway I decided that you know it stopped raining the blue sky is coming out be a good idea to maybe get some fresh air for once and so for pressed flower art then you obviously need some flowers and I'm fortunate enough to have a big backyard where there are wildflowers that grow um, just something to keep in mind please don't pick flowers that aren't yours uh, try sticking to your own garden or yard area if you pick flowers in public places Somebody might not be too happy about that. Um, and it also means that no one else can enjoy the flowers if you take it. If you don't have a yard or garden, then when things open back up, check out a local nursery or flower shop to pick some out. Um, also keep in mind that flowers or certain plants can you know, cause rashes like poison oak or poison ivy. Um, others can be really prickly or thorny, so you can wear gloves or long sleeves just to make sure that you're protecting yourself um, whenever you are picking your flowers out. Being outside and reconnecting with nature feels very calming and relaxing and it also boosts my energy being in the sun for even 10 minutes made a huge difference so if you haven't been outside in a few days I would recommend going on a short walk you know or just opening a window if you feel like you can't go outside um, during this time that's totally okay but you know sunlight and fresh air is always a good thing so these are the flowers that I ended up picking and I also just found some leaves and blades of grass and some clover that I thought was nice and did a mini photo shoot with my cat. So the original way that pressed flowers are made is by putting them in big books and letting them sit for, you know, two weeks. But today we're going to be doing a much faster process. Uh, so you are going to need to use your microwave for this. You're also going to need a heavy dish that can press down on the flowers so they flatten out a little bit. Um, but please make sure that the dish is microwave safe. And no, you cannot put metal in the microwave. So please keep that in mind. So with my flowers, then all you really need is a sheet of paper. It can be plain white paper, but here I use lined paper just because that's what I had. And you're going to need some paper towel. So this is my first round putting flowers on the paper. So you're only going to put it on one half of the paper so that you can sandwich the flowers in between and put some paper towel on top whenever you put them in the microwave and they do release a lot of moisture and so the paper towel is really there just to soak all of that up and here i put the flowers just on the paper but what i found is that it didn't work as well as the side that had the paper towel on it so for the rest of the flowers then i put two pieces of paper towel one on the bottom and one on top so you'll see that in a little bit but I would recommend doing it the second way instead of just this way first. So once everything is folded and ready to go, then you're going to place it in the microwave and then grab your heavy dish and put that on top so again it's pressing the flowers down and flattening them out and what i did here because my bowl wasn't super heavy but it was flat is i just stacked some extra plates on top of the bowl to make it a little bit heavier and then you're going to put that in for two minutes
When it's finished, then take all of the dishes off. Make sure you check to make sure they're not hot first. Uh, if the dishes are really hot, then use some gloves or hot hands or something like that. Um, and then just to make sure that the flowers are extra dried out, then you're going to keep them in the microwave for 30 more seconds. And you repeat that process for all the other flowers you have. So like I said earlier, it seems to be better to have two pieces of paper towel. So one on the left, one on the right. And then you put your flowers down, making sure that they are not touching. Put the other piece of paper towel on top, fold it in half, and then put it in the microwave. And I did that for all the rest of the flowers and leaves that I picked here. These are all super delicate and breakable, so be gentle with them. Um, all of the little pieces that I broke, then I did save them just because they, you could still make them look nice or arrange them in a way that they work with the rest of the flowers. So make sure you don't throw it all out um, because you might still be able to salvage the little bits. So with a picture frame, it can be any kind of frame really, this one is clear, so it's just glass. Um, I actually didn't end up liking just the glass, so I customized it a little bit later. Um, but you can get picture frames anywhere from the dollar store or secondhand or whatever. Uh, so any picture frame is totally fine. Um, and now you're just going to play around with the arrangement of the flowers and the plants until you like how it looks. And when you're finally happy with it, then you can place the other piece of glass on top and uh, put the in the frame and hang it up. I had my pieces kind of move around a lot and um, thought about maybe uh, taping them down and what I eventually did was put some cardboard down um, and border that with washi tape. For my final product um, but if you like how this looks and it's not moving around too much then this is also really really pretty and I like how you can see through the whole thing it looks really nice in the window or on a wall but you know play around with it get creative and this is how mine turned out hope you have fun